computer. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Michelle Stuchel, Sapphire Ambassador, and welcome to Monday Night Live. And I get the amazing privilege of interviewing Fast Start Senior Ruby and Silver Star Earner Angela Patterson. And I swear I get, I can't keep doing this with you, Angela, because I get teared up every time. Um, she earned the prestigious Silver Star Award, which just for you know, that is an award that you anybody under Senior Ruby can earn by developing the most silvers on your team. And truly, this is such an honor. And the people that earn this trip usually fly to Diamond like April. April was the first one from Freedom Team to earn this award. And guess what? Like eight months later, she was a diamond, okay? Um, and then Haley Arnold also won. Huge shout out to Haley. And Angela won. This was actually the second month that she was in the running for Silver Stars. And then she earned it in her second month by developing a huge amount of silvers on her first level and then the rest of her team as well. Um, Angela has a 25% silver development rate. Um, company average is 10. 10%. Uh, my average is 15. Angela is flying and went to Senior Ruby in four months and two weeks. Let that sink in. Four months and two weeks. And it's because this is what she is doing. She is attracting and developing business builders. And so that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. And I'm going to be asking her some questions and we're going to have a great conversation about this. Um, I labeled this part two because the very first part of attracting and developing business builders is go back and watch last month's interview with Angela. And if you were on that call, if you slept that night, I'm very impressed because Angela's passion was so clear. If you're, if you didn't go out and recruit 10 people at that call after that call, or at least try to. <laughs> You can tell that Angela's passion, her posture is so strong and she's just as strong about the business as she is about the products. So go back and watch that part one if you didn't watch that. And we're gonna really get into the mechanics tonight about how she is doing this. So Angela, I'm so excited to be chatting with you. Um, and the first question I wanna ask is just how many silvers have you personally developed? Um, 12. That's awesome. So in four months and two weeks, she's developed 12 silvers. And how many other ranks do you, give me the breakdown of the other ranks on your team. Okay. Um, yes. Out of those 12, one of them is almost senior silver. Three of them have gone gold. That's amazing. And were any of them fast start golds? Oh, yes. <laughs> um, actually, all three were fast start gold. Um, all three that hit gold were fast start gold I and not all that. of them started fast start. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's amazing. Did you, and we'll, we're going to get into the mechanics of that. So talk to me about, we talked about this a little bit on your last call. When you are recruiting, are you leading with the products or the business? So I would say at first I started with the product, um, and then I started doing both. And there's even been some I've led with the business first, and I've gotten more and more bold about that lately, um, especially in private messages and stuff. So definitely both and um, leaning more business now. But at first, when I first started the first month, it was it was product at first. But yeah, I'm a lot more business now. Yes, yes, you are. OK, so do you have. Um, let, let's start going through case studies. Why don't we start with Carla? Why don't you talk to me about Carla? Okay, so, and she was just fast start silver from last month. Um, and this is somebody that I started right away talking to. Um, she was definitely one of my dream teamers that I've done stuff with in the past. Was actually approached her with the business right away with both. Um, very much uh, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, sending her to Zoom, getting her on calls, like, you know, the, talk, the calls like they do on Tuesday nights about the opportunity, 
Um, every time there was one, I'd send it to her. I got on a, on a three-way actually right up front. I got on a three-way call. Um, so excited was like, okay, I want you on my team. And she was just slower because there was objections there because of being in other businesses. In the yeah, nah. um, <laughs> I can hold her. <laughs> <Here's somebody. laughs> so she was, I mean, the, so there were some, and I was going to talk about some objections and then how she's overcome some of those. Um, so she did, um, you know, there were things in the past that she was feeling a little bit burnout about and um, not sure, you know, about doing another business. And that was her thing and not wanting to get to that place again. And so there was some concern there with that. And of course, belief, just like me, just like a lot of us, wanting to believe in the product, wanting to feel like, okay, I know I can get behind this. And so after, I mean, probably three months of sharing with her, um, she jumped in. And we also did another three-way. I, I talked to her a few times on the phone, though, y'all, with this one. Again, right up front, three-way call. Then again, getting on the phone with her, getting her plugged into lots of stuff. Follow up, follow up, follow up. And then when she gets started, we, we got her on some more calls. And she was asking some help because she wanted to hit that fast start silver, which she did. And she did awesome. And she reached out to us and was very coachable. And we were able to help with her, getting scripts to her and what to share with people and that kind of thing. So that was that was that situation. <laughs> I love that. So just to reiterate, when you first approached her about the business, and then I remember that call, you got her on a three-way call with me. So we talked about the business, but she did, didn't do anything. And you continue to follow up with her about both the products and the opportunity by inviting her yeah. to events. Mm -hmm. And she was watching your stories. You kept engaging with her. You kept building the relationship. And you just kept following up. You did not give up on her. Oh, no. Right. Right. And then when she joined, she went fast start silver. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Okay. So let's talk about who's next on your list. Who, what, who's, who do you want to share about next? Um, I'll go into Deborah. Um, and cause she was also actually probably the second person to join under me. Um, and it was before I even was fully sure I was doing this, but I, but I was sharing, she knew what was going on with me, with, with my testimony and knew why I was getting started. So she was just asking me questions. So next thing I know, she wants to get started for the product. Now I did plant seeds with her and actually with everybody right up front, at least talking about, you can get your products covered. Just think of three people. And even right now, you know, cause with her, she's there. They're an awesome family, love the Lord, missionary family. There was a, there is a concern there of like being able to stay on the products and that kind of thing. And um, there were some objectives there um, with, and I'll get into that again in a minute, but with her, it was like, I got to feel better because of some health things that she wanted to get help with. But I did say, okay, let's get you in the door. Let's get you started. And then by next month, let's get you three people under you and we'll get your products covered. And so I did plant that seed there with her, but it was a little bit slower to start with her. She was feeling that objection of, I got to get my results first. And in fact, I actually plugged her into a lot of things up front also. I plugged her into, well, we got on three-way call. Um, and I did wait a little too long, I'll be honest, because I was, like I said, this was the beginning. And I waited a little long. And I was kind of hesitant because not being sure. I didn't know if she'd really want to do this as a business or not. But anyway, I mean, it was probably three weeks in and I got her on a call. But it was awesome. And in three-way call, I realized some more things that I didn't realize. And anyway, then I started plugging her into Monday night live calls and the Tuesday business calls. And there happened to be missionary families' testimonies on some of those calls. And she was getting more and more excited. She had actually started talking to some family members and got no's across the board. She had no Facebook page. She had no, there was a lot of objections. Like, I don't know how to do this social media thing. I don't know if I can do this. Everybody's telling me no. Okay, y'all, let's just set this up for you because this is my, and she is, I'm so proud of her, y'all. She's overcome so many objections. She's never done a business like this before. Um, never done anything like this before. And she's an introvert, y'all. And then here we go, okay? So this is month one. She does not hit silver. Month two comes around. We do a sip and see, okay? And, and Deirdre comes and she gets more belief and she's been getting more and more belief built up, right? Then she starts to have some results herself. 
anyway, long story long, what she ends up doing is she decides, okay, I'm going to make a post. And we talked her into it. And she made a video. We helped her set up Facebook. We helped her get some a plan going. She started friending people her husband had had an account. And so just had a couple hundred friends, right? Does a video, gets going like that. And she was excited. She plugs in. I get her to come to convention with me. I actually told her right away, you want to come? And she's like, yes, I'm all in. And it just took off from there, y'all. She hit senior silver fast start, gold fast start. And she's on her way to hitting uh, senior gold fast start. So she didn't hit fast start silver, but she in the same month, that second month, hit silver, then senior silver, fast start senior silver. And she's just taken off from there. She's got people she's building under her. And so that's been awesome with her. So, and again, there were so many objectives, right? But she plugged into culture, plugged into the team calls, plugged into a three-way, went to convention. <laughs> yeah, what I love this so much. So a couple of things I want to point out. It's number one, you didn't say, do you want to get your products paid for? Who do you, you know, right. if you want to do this, do you, people, do you hear Angela's posture? Okay, if you're not open to the business right now, who are your three people? Let's get you three people right now. This is not a matter of if you want to do this, but who are your three people? Do you remember when Marianne Anderson did the call for us and she said the same exact thing? Not if, but stated as a fact. Do you hear Angela's posture of strength, belief, and you can do this? Do you realize that this woman didn't even have a Facebook page? And Angela is injecting belief into this woman. And Angela, you basically helped her, showed her, modeled. You were very much I do, we do, you do. You held her hand mm -hmm. to get her strength and get her started. The other thing, what I love about what you said is that you plugged her into events and culture right away. Yeah. Tell me, mm -hmm. how did you get mm -hmm. her to come to convention? Okay, remember, this is like, she does. the woman doesn't even have results yet. And she's talking to her about convention. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, the convention was second month in, so she did have some results okay, at so that a point bit. with her. And and then she had she had started talking to some people and getting them excited. I, did, I think just all of a sudden, something just opened up to her, and the culture did draw her in a lot, I believe. Um, and it was just God. The, the Lord opened it up in her heart and in her mind, and she felt like, oh, my gosh, that sounds exciting. Well, by the time convention came around, and actually was here, she, of course, had hit some ranks and, and then, of course, has blown up since then more. <laughs> yes, I love that. And I love what you said about, about her. You got her to sip and seize. You got her on product events. When yeah. people believe in these products, they will not keep their mouth shut. And that is huge. It's because of belief in our life-changing products that our opportunity is so incredible. And so you brought that out, you fostered that in her, and that is amazing. Um, and that you didn't settle for her excuses. I love the fact that you said, okay, you don't have a Facebook page. Let me help you with that. Okay. You don't know how to make a video. Let me help you with that. Yeah. I mean, tell, tell um, everybody how you guys made the video together. So, and that's another thing I want to point out too, is being coachable and having people like that's huge in this. And that's the thing that, that these people are all willing to do is to listen. And we have to be consistent to keep coming back with helping them through these objectives and helping them through connecting them to tools. And so we did that. But anyway, so she did her first video. I shared with her how to do it. And then I came over to her house here and we got in front of her little new baby goat. And we said, let's just do a spontaneous live together. And so we went live and did in front of the little baby goats and shared my testimony. She shared hers. And again, that just blew up even more. And, <laughs> but also then, and, and the belief is everything, building belief in your people. And like, again, taking them from, okay, it's not just the products, but look what this can do for you. And I have gotten more confident now, I think in that. I don't know if I was at the beginning, you know, but now I'm saying right away, I'm telling you, you can see the lives of others change also. And really instilling that in them right away. And also you can get your products covered. And what would this change your life if you were making this money, you know, and planting those seeds like that. But she began to see that vision and it just took off even more for her, for sure. I love that. I love that. And being able to discern where she needed help and the objections like on marketing, on branding, the yeah. um, hand holding on how the, the how to's, the mechanics, and you were willing to do that. And now look at her. 
She's almost fast start senior gold. That's fantastic. Okay, let's talk about Jennifer, how you led with the business for a single mom. Yes, I say so Jennifer had reached out actually and, and I, I was trying to remember, I know that I had done a post more about the business side and shared more about that. She was very curious, still kind of involved in another business, but was very much wanting to do something else and really was undecided. She's like, I'm not sure if this is going to be a right fit or not. I got her on a three-way call right away. Anytime it's business up front and they're not sure, I feel like it's important to plug them in right away. And plus, I was still learning because this was, you know, early on still. So I got her plugged in right away um, on a three-way call. I sent her resources. We were finding out pain points, um, what things that you need, you know, this. And her objection was, I think, comparing with things that she's come out of. She had used to not believe in the industry. Of course, she started believing in the industry, but she still had some objections there as in, in time, busy, single mom, and having the time to be able to do this or not, and not sure, you know, if, if this is going to be a right fit or not, and look into all these different things, but we got her the resources, got the tools in her hand, and then again, the invitation, hey, I want you to come to convention with me. So what happened was when she got in the door, and I followed up a lot with her, I also gave her a sample. I got to meet her at a prayer meeting and gave her a pink drink sample and was just following up with her a lot. And then she was like, okay, I feel like there's something on this. Jumped in, again, was very coachable, was willing to like, okay, tell me what to do, how to post. And we shared with her how to, and she actually has an amazing presence on social media already, but was having some technical difficulties with Facebook, not letting, shadow banning her and not letting things be seen. So we had to work through those objections and get her views up again and that kind of thing. And she went what worked through that. And also her audience saying, okay, wait a minute, you've changed products here. You know what I'm saying? And we had to work through that. And she overcame that. And she went to convention and she's just, she's hit fast start silver, fast start senior silver, fast start gold. And is home working with her child, not having to work out of the home. <laughs> so she's already seen a turnaround with finances too. So it's been awesome. I love that. Okay. So one of the things I want to point out here with this story is Angela, you were very involved with Jennifer, right? You mm -hmm. she had a lot of objections. Did any of your people just say, great, I'm going to take off running. And then you didn't have to talk to them at all. No, um, you had to, no. <laughs> you had to answer objections, right? You had to give tools. You had to literally help them get from point E and point A to point B and that you discern mm -hmm. what does she need to get where she's at point A, what does she need to get to point B? And it sounds like a lot of mm -hmm. the way that you answered objections is through third-party tools. Is that right? Oh, yes. Yeah. And that, and that is did a lot. There's a lot of really good videos we found with even specifics to some things that she was like trying to make decisions about in which company and why. And she's very health conscious and very into natural. So we were able to share with her Jessica's videos, our natural path and things like that, which was key. So it is so important to find the pain points, to find out what, what their objections are, to find out what are things that they're looking for and then to be able to bring in something. And I'm learning that still too. And I, I have to be honest, without Deirdre and Michelle, like they've helped me a lot. And so I'll just put that out there too. Whoever your upline is, I didn't know everything, all of all of this just on my own. Some of it I've learned from other things I've done, but a lot of it has come from me getting it from them and saying, okay, what do I do in this situation? Help me with this. You know what I mean? I've asked a lot of questions and I think you guys have been amazing to pour into me. So don't think I got everything all figured out, but like really use what you have, the resources we have, your upline and that kind of thing. It's huge. Mm -hmm. I love that. Talk to me. We've said that. I wrote this down. You said figured out their pain point and we didn't script this at all, but how do you figure out your, someone's pain point? Asking questions, <laughs> um, which I've learned. I'm trying to still get better about it, but asking questions. Um, I mean, also getting to know them, looking at their page. What are they posting about? What is ask, really getting to know building, this is building relationships and connections and getting to know what's going on and what their passions are, things like that too. And, and I feel like that does happen with those connection of relationships and asking questions and following up and, and that kind of thing. And also we did learn a lot about each other at convention. I have to just plug convention. It's huge. Every single one of my girls that went to convention have ranked up since then. And, and actually out of my four, my high, four highest ranked 
all went to convention. All the four highest ranks underneath me. <laughs> I love Sorry, that. Just had to throw that in. But. Yes. Leaders are made at events. And the other thing, um, okay, so one thing, Angela is a recruiting beast for those of you that don't know. I mean, she's every month in double digits, but do you hear she's still taking the time to connect with her leaders, to get on the phone, to ask them questions, to know what their dreams are, to know what their concerns are. And so she takes the time to connect and answer the things that are going on with them to help get them from point A to point B so that they can reach their goals. And that's why she's crushing it. But did you also hear, um, let me ask you this, all of those people that we've talked about, Carla's not in town, but Deborah and Jennifer are in town, right? Okay, so your mm -hmm. third gold, Cecilia, she's in town too. Tell me her story, and then let's talk about how you guys are building culture locally. Yes, oh my goodness. So Cecilia, oh, okay, so she was my neighbor forever, and I reached out to her right away too, but really the approach with her was about products because I knew she had some health things she was going through. There's some things that I felt like this could help her from testimonies I'd seen. Her objections was probably one is she's busy. She's about to move. She's got tons of kids. You know, she's got a lot going on. Um, she's never done a business like this, at least that I didn't think that she had. And then also Facebook. She isn't on Facebook much. Um, and anyway, I just knew. And also, she didn't think that this would work for her. She was like, I don't know. Everything doesn't ever work for me. And so I just kept plugging her into resources with gut health and happiness, testimonies, Finally, I was able to get her to a sip and see, and she came to the local sip and see, and that was where, that was it. I mean, when she came to that, she came up, she was like, I'm in, I'm going to get started again though. And I did plant seeds with the business at that sip and see, but I still didn't talk to her about it yet. So she within like, I mean, she just got her product a couple days in and I'm doing the follow-up procedure, the retention follow-up that you're supposed to do when you're sending the videos. I sent her the video of while you're waiting for your results, you know, um, let's see what you can be doing. And it was kind of the plug-in for some of the business. And actually she messaged back and started asking me a little bit of questions about that. Well, I said, hey, let's get on a phone call and let me do a welcome call with you, with my friend. And I was actually, to be honest, kind of afraid to get on a three-way with her. She was one of the ones that I was thinking, oh gosh, she's not going to want to do this. Um, I'm not sure. And like, I love her so much. I don't want her to be frustrated with me for, for getting her on something like, you know what I mean? The things that we can go through sometimes, but I did it anyway. I just went ahead and got her on the call because I'm like, what can it hurt, right? Well, little did I know she had these dreams in her heart. She gets on the call. Michelle plants amazing vision on the three-way call. And then me and her talk more afterwards. And Cecilia, Cecilia tells me, I've got these dreams in my heart. And I was just like, oh my gosh. And I happened to actually have an open spot, one open spot for convention. Okay, girl. I mean, okay, okay, girl. I'm about to say, okay, girl. Okay, girl, guys, whoever's on here. Um, <laughs> so I had one spot, y'all. And I said, um, I was like, you know what? I actually have one spot for convention. Um, I know you literally just jumped in and you're kind of not even sure, but do you want to do this with me? Do <laughs> you want to go? And she's like, let me pray about that. She calls me back and goes, my calendar has nothing on it for that day. I'm in. She literally that weekend is so excited about stuff. And I sent her some more videos and stuff. She goes and she's so bold. She goes and tells her whole family, you need to do this with me. Jump on it. She hadn't even had any results yet, y'all. She did not have the objection of I've got to get my results first. She went for it. And guess what? By the time we went to convention was like, what, a week and a half away? She had hit, she was almost senior silver. She had already hit fast start silver and was like six people in or something um, because she was being, and she still hadn't posted on Facebook, but she was being bold with her family. She got in there, got the convention, and we plugged her into culture just like the others. And the Lord spoke to her heart and in the rest of history, she, history, she's like, I'm going for diamonds. <laughs> her mom's going for diamonds. She's got other people. She's got some silvers going under her. Um, so again, just, it's just awesome. <laughs> and God is faithful, y'all, too, to pray in these people. So I'm doing the work, but I'm also asking the Lord to bring it in. I have to put that plug in because God, I mean, I was almost overwhelmed crying before we started this call because I was thinking, this is just, God is so good, y'all. Like, he's so faithful. Like ask for these things and then do the stuff it takes at the same time. And anyway. <laughs> That's right. I love, love, love every single bit of that. Um, it, you know, 
One of the things that I love so much about you, Angela, is most of us would not think to ask somebody who hadn't even got their products yet or had just gotten them if they wanted to come to convention. Most of us are like, eh, we'll wait a little bit. I'm not going to ask all these people. She asked everybody, even the rock that was sitting in front of her doorstep, if they wanted to go to convention because she understands. Let me just draw some common threads for all of these people. Number one, each one of these people and each silver that she has developed has what? Gotten on a welcome call. Every single one of them. If you have not watched what to do with a new join, I got a new join now what? Or Emily's call or April's call, go do that. For so many reasons, we don't have time to go into it now. Number two, she infuses them with belief. And she does that, Angela, you do that so perfectly by not even giving people an option, not if you want to do this. She's casting, she's discerning who, where this person is, connecting with them, discovering their pain points, and then allowing that to help navigate which road she chooses. For the single mom, she's going hard on the business. Um, you know, for somebody that's just product, she's allowing the process to take root, but then planting the seeds and then allow getting them plugged into opportunity events, um, sip and seize where they're casting vision. She's using tools and culture incredibly effectively, incredibly effectively. Angela, talk to us about the local events that you guys have. How many local events do you usually have in a month? Um, so the first month, I think we did one or two. We did one. We did a lot of Zooms, though, too. Mm -hmm. Last month, we did three plus several Zooms. And so far this month, we've had one. We're about to do two more. And again, we're trying to plan Zooms in between those weeks. We've had a lot. Every, I mean, we have the, the rate of people that want to join with, from Sip and Seas from local events is very high. Like the belief that that they see, they're, they're, they're hearing it from us, the story firsthand, the culture they're they're experiencing. Um, they're just, it's amazing. Like everybody pretty much walks away wanting to join. And then the Zooms are very also second, I would say, to that mm -hmm. with people just wanting to do it right afterwards. But. Mm -hmm. And you also invite all your level ones to these Zooms and events too, and they're getting their belief built. So then they in turn go and create more silvers because they're getting their belief built even more in the products and what we have. Um, so I just want to kind of recap um, the things that Angela is doing to attract and develop business builders. One, her crazy bold posture because of our life-changing products get in there and build your belief on the products because what we have is pure gold that every man, woman, and child needs. And if you don't have that passion, build it. Go build it. Get into gut health and happiness, research, watch a video. Number two, love people well. Can you see how well Angela is loving her people? Take time with your people, cast vision, talk to them, discover their pain points, find out what their dreams are. What are their kids' names? What do they want for their lives? And then see them as what would diamond mean for them? How would it change their family? And then take the time to do whatever you have to do, even if it's going and standing in front of their goats to make a video. She did that. She helped her make a Facebook page. She's helping these people like, to get them strong enough where they need to be. Number three, plug into culture. Get your people to events. Hold your own events. Invite your level ones. Number four, use tools to answer objections. You don't need to be the smartest or have all the answers. She's constantly using tools. And guess what? Now her team knows how to answer objections because they're using the same tools that Angela did. Um, and number four or number five, she's not afraid. She cares more about everybody else than what people may think of her because she knows the power of what we have. And so she's willing to open her mouth because she wants other people's dreams to come true as much as her dreams are coming true. So Angela, any parting words or pieces of advice that you have for us? Well, I wanted to put one more plug in um, for Candice. 
who oh, was yeah, another that's right. person. Yeah. Um, because Candace's story is so different. Yes, it is. Candace, um, amazing. She came in saying she actually jumped in right away. As soon as I, I told her about it, she was ready, but didn't want to share yet until she had results. And she had to, we had to work with her through objections of her because of so much health things going on, not getting results fast. So, and, and, and anyway, she did share a little bit here and there, but she was waiting, 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 but she was coachable and we worked with her and we kept following up with her. And then I did invite her to convention. <laughs> she hadn't even had, I don't think anybody signed up and she decided to go to convention. And then as we kept on going, building belief, plugging her into things, she ended up again, she had to overcome some objections of some of those things with her health. She had to overcome never like being afraid to do a video, but she did it. And she stepped out of her comfort zone in many ways. And she didn't want to be salesy, right? That's what a lot of people say. But guess what? She has got this amazing, incredible testimony. She's made a video now. She went to convention. She hit Fast Start Silver, or not Fast Start Silver, hit Silver, but about to hit Senior Silver. She was a little slower getting started, y'all, but she has so much belief now and now has a dream to possibly be able to come home and just do this. And so y'all, even if people don't hit fast start, even if people's different, you know, their, their start, their journey's a little different. Don't give up on them. Don't give up on them starting a little slower. They didn't hit the fast starter. They didn't, because I'm telling you, she is so excited now. And she got plugged into culture and that changed everything for her. Whether it's the calls, the Zoom, the sip and see, you've got to plug your people into what we've got here. You've got to give them these resources, believe in them before they believe in themselves. And I'm thankful that I had two people that did that with me too. And so if we do that, I really believe we can begin to pull these people in and they're going to start saying, oh my gosh, I can do this. There's your million dollar tip, everybody. Believe in them before they believe in themselves and plug them into culture. I just need, that was amazing. There, now you see, this is how to do it. Angela, thank you. You're an inspiration and an example to us all. And I love seeing you and your team fly, girl. Well, that's it, everybody. Have a great night. I'm going to stop the recording.